We'll go right to the phone lines. First up today is Bob. He's listening in Nashville, Tennessee. Hi, Bob. Hey, how are you doing, Hank? Good. How are you? Good. I love your ministry. Uh, quick question. Uh, this is First John chapter 5. If anyone sees his brother commit a sin that does not lead to death, he should pray and God will give him life. I refer to those whose sin does not lead to death. There is a sin that leads to death. To death, I am not saying that he should pray about that. And I don't have a clue what, what that's about. Could you? Yeah, it goes on to say that all wrongdoing is sin, and there's a sin that does not lead to death. Look, life in context of the epistle is typically eternal life, and therefore the sin unto death would appear to be a sin leading one away from eternal life in context. And in that vein, there are two distinct possibilities. Because of the context, hating your brother or sister, as well as failing to believe in the real Jesus, in other words, falling for false doctrine and going after heresy. But remember, the sin that leads unto death is never to be understood as an act. It is always to be understood as a continuous, ongoing, willful rejection of the love and grace that could be yours. So many people ask, have I committed the unforgivable sin as though it were just an act? No, it's not an act. It's a continuous, ongoing, willful rejection. And therefore, anyone in the present can fall upon the grace of Jesus Christ and know that they are forgiven if they recognize that they're sinners, repent of their sin, and if they receive Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord of their life. 